Hey guys, hi, hello, namaste, adab, sasriyakal, assalamu alaikum, wadakkam and khamma agani to all of you. Welcome to today's class and as you all know, this is your Prodigy series for CBSC 9 and <clears throat> this is your second session for the topic quadrilaterals, right? So in the first session, as you all know that we have learned properties of quadrilateral, we have learned what are the different types of special quadrilaterals. We have also learned that in those special quadrilaterals, what are their properties? How do we prove a given quadrilateral to be a parallelogram, to be a rhombus, to be a square, uh, to be a square, everything we have discussed in detail. So the previous session notes guys I have told you is very, very, very important. It's going to be uh, say the last moment revision notes for you all. So if you have not watched that session, guys, I would definitely recommend definitely watch that session and whatever fear you have regarding this particular topic quadrilaterals will be gone after this session, after the previous session. And today we'll be finishing the midpoint theorem guys. So before I move ahead, let me tell you one thing guys that IOQM essential batches have already started and you can be a part of it. The prices earlier were rupees 10,000 and now it has reduced to rupees 2,200. On top of that, if you'll apply the coupon code GPEPRO, you'll be getting the whole uh, course at just rupees 1980. Alright guys, so that's a very good course right now because we'll be covering all the basics, all the essential topics related to your IOQM. Alright, so let us start the class guys. My name is Gopal Paliwal and uh, uh, we'll be doing uh, midpoint theorem in this particular session. Alright, so this was your homework question which I gave you in the previous class. It is saying that ABCD is a trapezium in which AB is parallel to CD and uh, ab is given parallel to cd guys all right and it is given to you that ad is equal to bc so in a way it is an isosceles trapezium the non-parallel sides are equal so it is an isosceles trapezium all right so we need to show over here first thing that angle a equal to angle b then we need to show angle c is equal to angle d triangle abc is congruent to triangle bad and diagonal ac equal to diagonal uh, bd okay so hint is given over here that extend AB and draw a line through C parallel to AD to intersect AB produced at E. Okay? So this is what the construction I am going to do. Construction I have done extend AB. This is my construction. Okay? I have extended AB from C. I have drawn a line parallel to AD wherever that intersect that will be the point E. So now I have CE is parallel to AD. CE is parallel to AD where E is on AB produced. E lies on AB produced. This is my construction. Take a bacha. So now if I look at the quadrilateral ADCE, take in quadrilateral ADCE. Guys, first thing from the construction, we know that AD is parallel to CE. And if AB is parallel to CD, AB produced will also be parallel to CD. So I can say AE will also be parallel to CD. So both the pair of opposite sides are parallel. We can say ADCE is a parallelogram, right? We can say ADCE will be a parallelogram, right? So if they are parallelogram, if they are a parallelogram guys, so now I can say one thing that parallelogram means opposite sides are equal. So since it is a parallelogram, I can say AD is equal to CE. AD is equal to CE first one. AD is equal to CE. After that, I can say sir, AD and CE are equal also. AD and BC are also given equal. Given AD is equal to BC. This is given to you. So from here, I can definitely say that BC is also equal to CE. Right? This AD, BC, CE, all the three sides are equal to each other. Correct, guys? Clear? Right? Okay. Ab aage let's move ahead. So next point, mein, uh, what do we see over here guys? Listen very carefully. 
look at triangle BCE. So now I can say, sir, in triangle BCE, in triangle BCE, if you will see, kya dekhoge? you will see that BC is equal to CE. And if BC and CE are equal, it is an isosceles triangle, angles opposite to equal sides will also be equal. So you can say this angle and this angle are going to be equal. So we can say angle CBE will be equal to angle CEB. Let's say both are equal to x, x degrees. This is x degrees and this is also x degrees. Correct. Now in the trapezium guys, I can say angle ABC plus angle CBE will be equal to 180 degree because they are linear pair. So from here I will get angle ABC plus X is equal to 180 degree. You will get angle ABC as 180 minus X. Angle ABC is equal to what? 180 minus X. Right? Correct? Also, since ADCE is a parallelogram, ADCE is a parallelogram, we can say angle DAE plus angle CEA will also be equal to 180 degree because they are what? Adjacent angles. Adjacent angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. So this angle at A and this angle at E both will be supplementary. So angle DAE plus angle X degree. Angle CEA is nothing but X degrees is equal to 180. You will get angle DAE is also equal to 180 minus X degrees. So guys here you will find it out. This is also 180 minus X. So from this and this can you see that angle A and angle B both are equal which is equal to what 180 minus X degrees. Angle A and angle B both are equal which is equal to what 180 minus X degrees. Pretty simple. So what we have done AD is uh, parallel to CE we have got. Uh, first we have proved ADC is a parallelogram. So AD and CE were equal. Then a AD and BC were already given equal. So BC and CE also became equal. So BCE became an isosceles triangle. So this angle CBE and angle CEB became X and X degrees. So if it is X, angle ABC will become 180 minus X. And also ADCE is a parallelogram. Adjacent angles are going to be supplementary. So angle A will become 180 minus X. So from here we got both angle A and angle B are equal, which is 180 minus X and 180 minus X. Right? So now angle wise, if I will see, this is 180 minus X. This is also 180 minus X. This is X degrees. And this is also X degrees. Right? And these two sides are parallel as well and these three sides are equal to each other okay now i will say sir angle a plus angle d will be equal to 180 degree because they are interior consecutive angles if angle a is 180 minus x plus angle d is equal to 180 degree you'll see 180 180 got cancelled you'll get angle d as x degrees Chalo. so angle d is becoming x degree similarly angle b angle b means angle abc angle ABC because at B there are two angles so what I'll do I'll write it as angle ABC all right so angle ABC plus angle BCD will be equal to 180 degree because again they are interior consecutive angles angle ABC is 180 minus X angle BCD plus angle BCD is equal to 180 degree from here you'll get angle BCD is equal to X degrees so here also this became x degrees. So second one is also proved. Angle B is equal to angle D. Both are equal to x degrees. Alright guys. Is it clear? Done hai bacha. Easy question hai. Right? Simple problem. Angle B, angle D both are becoming equal to x degrees. Clear point? Simple logic. Right? So second one we have proved. Now third one is comparatively easy. Third one, third one is very easy guys. What we are saying over here that in triangle ABC and triangle BAD we need to talk about. So triangle ABC we will get like this and triangle BAD we will be getting like this. Correct? These two triangles we need to talk about them and we need to prove them congruent. So first thing guys you will be able to understand that AB is the common side. 
AB is equal to AB common side, then I can say AD and BC both are equal. AD is equal to BC, both are equal sides. And then I can say angle, they go in triangle ABC, we have this angle which is 180 minus X angle B and in triangle BAD we have this angle A which is also 180 minus X right we have proved in the first one so this which rule it is side angle side rule by SAS rule we can say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle BAD okay once guys we have proved that these two triangles are congruent once we have proved triangle ABC and triangle BAD are congruent fourth one we can directly say by CPCT I can say that bacha party the diagonal AC is equal to BD okay this is simple and sweet the question will be done like this Adhiko, you might be thinking sir such a long question but if you will notice over here the easy part is that once you solve the first point first you have once you have solved angle a equal to angle b after that it becomes very easy to solve, solve angle c equal to angle angle d and the third one is easy fourth one is direct result so it is only lengthy it is not a difficult question it's a lengthy question i understand but not a difficult one all right now we'll be moving ahead with our topic midpoint theorem so midpoint theorem beta this is the kind of session this is the kind of question which we will be able to solve by the end of this video okay now first thing beta what is the midpoint theorem so they go midpoint theorem kya bolta hai? the midpoint theorem states that the line joining the midpoints of two sides of a triangle so say e is the midpoint of a b and f is the midpoint of a c so the line joining the midpoints that means the line e f the line joining the midpoints of any two sides of a triangle will be parallel to the third side which is the third side by the two midpoints e is on a b f is on a c remaining third will be on third side so this line e f is going to be parallel to b c and half of it will be parallel to third side and half of it okay and half of it that means that if i if i give you if e and f are midpoints if e and F are midpoints of AB and AC respectively. Then guys, what is the result? Result we can say that EF is parallel to BC and EF is half of BC. This is your midpoint theorem. This is your midpoint theorem. Ab beta iska proof jo hai. The proof for this uh, is again very easy. The construction which is required over here is given to you what the construction we do beta from c from c what we do we draw a line which is parallel to ab from c we draw a line which is parallel to ab and we extend the line ef so from c draw a line draw a line cd parallel to ab uh, such that d lies on ef produced all right so what is the construction guys construction is draw cd parallel to AB such that such that what such that EF sorry D lies on EF produced D lies on EF produced okay so guys I know this side and this side they both are parallel all right Chalo. if they are parallel now we can what what we can say they go let's talk about these two triangle triangle AEF and triangle uh, triangle A E F and triangle C D F. Okay, so I can say, sir, in triangle A E F and triangle C D F, since these two sides are parallel, bacha. Okay, uh, haji. Chalo, since these two sides are parallel, I can say, sir, this angle is going to be equal to this angle, interior alternate angle. So I can say, sir, angle EAF is equal to angle DCDCF because they are interior alternate angle. Since it is given F is the midpoint, so I can say AF is equal to FC. F is the midpoint. F is midpoint. It is given to you. Right. And last, we can say, sir, this angle at F 
is equal to this angle at f because they are vertically opposite angle angle a f e is equal to angle c f d because they are vertically opposite angle so you can clearly see angle side angle angle side angle so we can say by a s a rule triangle a e f is congruent to triangle c d f once we got to know that these two triangles are congruent once we got to know guys that these two triangles are congruent what i can say about it what i can say about it i can say by cpct by cpct i can say sir ef is equal to df ef is equal to fd yes or no by this side ef and fd will be equal corresponding sides if ef and fd are equal to each other i can say f is the midpoint of ed f is the midpoint of ed ef and fd both are equal f is midpoint of ed f is midpoint of ed as well theek hai that means i can say sir ef as well as fd both will be half of ed ef and fd can be written as half of ed simple logic चलो अब बेटा लेट्स मूव अहेड आगे बढ़ते हैं नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट पॉइंट पे देखते हैं व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट थिंग आई कैन से बाय सीपीसीटी ठीक है सी बाय सीपीसीटी व्हाट इज द नेक्स्ट थिंग आई कैन से बाय सीपीसीटी आई कैन आल्सो से वन थिंग बाय सीपीसीटी आई कैन आल्सो से वन थिंग दैट सेट द साइड ए ई विल बी इक्वल टू द साइड सी डी ए ई विल बी इक्वल टू सी डी सो दिस साइड ए ई विल बी इक्वल टू दिस साइड सी डी and we know ae and be were already equal so i can say ae be and cd all are equal to each other ae be cd all are equal to each other ab bachcha party let us see sir ji now you will tell me ki sir in quadrilateral in quadrilateral b c d e b c d e which is the quadrilateral b C D E in this quadrilateral B C D E I can say sir B E B E is parallel to C D by construction. By if A B is parallel to C D B E will also be parallel to C D and also guys just now we have proved that B E is equal to C D as well. Just now we have proved. so i can say one pair of opposite sides are equal as well as parallel we can say b c d e is a parallelogram b c d e is a parallelogram so two step proof hai yahan pe first prove the two triangles congruent and then prove the bottom one to be a parallelogram once b c d e we have proved it to be a parallelogram once we have b c d e as a parallelogram now the proof is done now the proof is done since b c d e is a parallelogram you know opposite sides will be parallel so i can say e d b c will be parallel to e d and if b c is parallel to e d it will be parallel to e f as well so we can say e f will be parallel to b c half part done e f will be parallel to b c also opposite sides will be equal so i can say sir e d will be equal to bc ed will be equal to bc right ed and bc are equal also guys if you remember over here i have told you ef fd ef fd both are equal f is the midpoint of ed so i can also write ed i can also write ed as twice of ef as twice of ef is equal to bc so we can say ef is equal to half of bc we can say ef is equal to half of bc both the proofs we have got ef is parallel to bc as well as ef is half of bc as well theek hai bachcha so this is how you will get your proof of midpoint theorem although nowadays now as you know this time your uh, exams are mostly like objective type theek hai but still i am giving you the proof so that you have an idea about it now the same proof will be there for the converse of midpoint theorem as well 
कन्वर्स में भी सेम टाइप ऑफ प्रूफ चलेगा बेटा ओनली अपोजिट वे में रहेगा इट इज गोइंग टू बी द अपोजिट वन ठीक है सो द मिड पॉइंट थियरम कन्वर्स वॉट इट इज सो कन्वर्स सेज दैट द लाइन ड्रॉन थ्रू द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ वन साइड ऑफ अ ट्राइंगल दिस टाइम आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट लेट से ई इज द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए बी वॉट इज गिवन टू यू गाइज दिस टाइम देखो सी द डिफरेंस गिवन इज दैट ई इज मिड पॉइंट गिवन इज ई इज मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए बी what is given to you e is midpoint of ab and since e is midpoint of ab guys i can say please listen carefully over here e is the midpoint of ab and from e i am not joining it with the midpoint of other sides i don't know that what i am doing from e i am drawing a line parallel to bc it is given to you that from e draw a line parallel to bc theek hai from e which is the midpoint of any one side if i draw a line parallel to this thing so if it is also given that ef if i draw parallel to bc ef if i draw parallel to bc guys then as result i can say f is midpoint f is midpoint of ac f will be the midpoint of ac please listen one more time if e is the midpoint of ab and from e if i draw a line which is parallel to bc in that case guys this parallel line from e this parallel line is going to intersect the third side at its midpoint or this parallel line will be bisecting will be bisecting the third side that is your converse of midpoint theorem and its proof is just the opposite dekho first earlier what you have done first uh, we have proved the triangles congruent and then we have proved the bottom one to be a parallelogram and we got our proof this time first we'll prove it to be a parallelogram this time first we'll prove it to be a parallelogram construction will remain same all right guys construction is going to remain same so construction beta dekho ef is given to us parallel to bc right so construction is same draw cd draw cd parallel to ab such that such that what beta such that d lies on ef produced d lies on ef produced so if d is lying on ef produced what i will look over here this is given now look at the quadrilateral bcde i can say sir in quadrilateral bcde one thing since bc and ef are given parallel i can say ed and bc will also be parallel since ef is parallel to bc i can say ed will also be parallel to bc and by construction guys we know ab and cd are parallel so i can say be will be parallel to cd as well because we know ab is parallel to cd right so both the pair of opposite sides are parallel i can say b c d e is a parallelogram if b c d e we have got b c d e if it is a parallelogram now i can say ki sir ji once we have got that this is a parallelogram i can say now that sir b c will be equal to d e once they are parallel i can say b c what i can say guys that be and cd will be equal chalo i can say be and cd are equal theek hai why uh, sorry we can say now that be is equal to cd what what i am going to say that be is equal to cd chalo bhai let us write be is equal to cd all right so if be and cd are equal you can say ae be cd all three of them are equal to each other once all three of them are equal to each other guys you can easily prove these two triangles congruent you can or not you can easily prove these two triangles to be congruent you can easily prove these two triangles to be congruent let's say this is not given na we'll prove it so once we can we can easily prove how we can easily prove by these two lines are parallel these two lines are parallel i can say first thing sir this angle and this angle is equal right then i can say sir this angle and this angle will also be equal interior alternate angles both the pair and ae is equal to cd right so by side sorry angle side angle rule directly i'm writing triangle aef will be congruent to triangle cdf and if they are congruent beta by cpct by cpct you'll be getting af is equal to fc by cpct 
यू विल बी गेटिंग ए एफ इज इक्वल टू एफ सी ठीक है एंड दिस विल बी अ प्रूफ ऑफ मिड पॉइंट जरूर सो जस्ट द अपोजिट इन द प्रीवियस प्रूफ फर्स्ट यू हैव प्रूव द ट्राइंगल्स कॉन्ग्रेंट देन यू प्रूव द बॉटम वन टू बी अ पैरलोग्राम एंड यू गेट द रिजल्ट इन द प्रूफ ऑफ कन्वर्स first you prove it to be a parallelogram then you prove the triangles congruent and then you get your result all right so this is your proof for the midpoint theorem as well as the converse of midpoint theorem now let us look at some questions which are related to these topics so first question guys we have abcd is a quadrilateral in which p q r and s are the midpoints of the side ab bc cd and ad see the figure ac is a diagonal show that what we need to show beta sr is parallel to ac chalo theek hai and sr is half of ac to so first one directly the application of midpoint theorem since we know s and r are midpoints of ad and cd respectively respectively in triangle acd so by midpoint theorem guys i can definitely say sr will be parallel to ac and sr will be half of ac similarly guys pq is equal to sr we have to prove same midpoint theorem i can get in triangle abc also in triangle abc guys i know p is midpoint p and q p and q both are the midpoints guys ठीक है सो आई कैन क्लियरली से पी एंड क्यू आर मिड पॉइंट ऑफ ए बी एंड बी सी ए बी एंड बी सी सो वंस दे आर दी मिड पॉइंट गाइज आई कैन क्लियरली से बाय मिड पॉइंट थियोरम बाय मिड पॉइंट थियोरम आई कैन से पी क्यू विल बी पैरल टू ए सी एंड पी क्यू विल बी हाफ ऑफ ए सी सो फ्रॉम दीज टू एस आर इज हाफ ऑफ ए सी पी क्यू इज हाफ ऑफ ए सी definitely we can say pq is equal to sr and also sr is parallel to ac pq is parallel to ac pq will also be parallel to sr so from these two results guys third one i can easily say one pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel we can say pqrs is a parallelogram pqrs will be a parallelogram simple thing right guys normal hai logic clear is it understood nayar सिंपल लॉजिक पी क्यू आर एस इज गोइंग टू बी वॉट अ पैरलोग्राम सिंपल लॉजिक ठीक है अब बेटा आगे बात करते हैं लेट्स मूव एड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन दिस वन वॉज अ डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन आ गया ये ठीक है अच्छा बिफोर आई मूव एड गाइज लेट मी टेल यू वन थिंग दैट विदांतु इंटरेक्टिव कोर्सेज आर लाइव राइट नाउ एंड विद दिस लाइव कोर्सेज यू विल गेट द एक्सेस टू अनलिमिटेड लाइव क्लासेज यूल ऑल्सो भी गेटिंग एक्सेस टू द क्लासेज इन विच विल बी हैविंग हाई लेवल कोर्सेज कंडक्टेड एंड विल बी कवरिंग योर एंटायर सिलेबस रिविजन विल बी डन एंड यू विल बी गेटिंग क्लास टीचर्स विल बी टेकिंग केयर ऑफ ऑल योर डाउट्स प्रेजेंट इन द क्लास है ना एवरी डाउट of yours will be resolved we want all our students to go without any doubt once the class is over your concepts will be covered and will be giving you assignments so that you can practice the problems mock tests will be there to see uh, to see um, uh, where do you stand and improve your marks right this is going to be definitely a huge factor mock test for improving your marks in your final examination and there are thousands of micro courses uh, through which you can revise a topic whenever you want so the link for the registration is mentioned in the description box of this video as well as in the pinned comment and the coupon code is gpe pro all right and this coupon code is definitely going to give you 10 percentage of 10 percentage of on the prices theek hai bachcha Okay, so what this question is saying, guys, uh, ABCD is a trapezium in which AB is parallel to CD. All right, BD is a diagonal, E is the midpoint of AD. Let's say this is the midpoint, and uh, a line through E parallel to AB. So this line EF is given parallel to AB. So EF, if it is parallel to AB and uh, AB is parallel to CD, obviously we can say AB CD. EF all are parallel to each other, right? So we need to show that F is the midpoint of BC. All right. So let's say, guys, this is a point G over here, and let's first talk about this triangle ABD. So I can say, sir, in triangle ABD, we can say since E is the midpoint and EG is parallel to AB. e is midpoint of ad and eg is parallel to ab 
I can say by converse of by converse of midpoint theorem, we can say G will bisect the third side. So we can say by converse of midpoint theorem, DG will be equal to GB or G is midpoint of BD. All right. Now we'll go for our next triangle, guys. The next triangle will be the triangle B, C, D. All right. So now I will say, sir, in triangle B, C, D, what do we have over here? So first thing we know, G is midpoint. Just now we have proved G is midpoint of B, D. And if E, F is parallel to C, D, this G, F also will be parallel to C, D. We can say G, F is parallel to C, D. So again, by converse, again, by converse of midpoint theorem, we can say that, sir, F is midpoint of BC. We can say by converse of midpoint theorem, BF is equal to CF. Right? It will bisect the third side. Dun, 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 dun. Clear? All right. So we can say F is the midpoint of BC. Clear, right, beta? Next question. Deko. In a parallelogram A, B, C, D, E and F are the midpoints of the side A, B and C, D respectively. So A, E and B, E are equal and F is the midpoint of C, D. And since it is given parallelogram, but I can say, dekho, E is the midpoint of A, B. So we can say A, E and B, E both are equal to half of A, B. Similarly, C, F and D, F both will be equal to half of C, D. And we know that since A, B is equal to C, D, half of A, B will also be equal to half of C, D. So we can say A, E, B, E, C, F and D, F all are equal. Okay? This you should get to know by reading this thing. All right. Now show that the line segments A, F and E, C are uh, EC trisect the diagonal BD. Trisect the diagonal BD means what? This line AF and this line CE, they are intersecting this diagonal BD at P and Q. So we need to prove that DP, PQ and QB all are equal to each other. This is what we need to prove. Okay, bacha? All right, so let's see the first thing better what we'll do. We'll look at this triangle, triangle A, B, E. Triangle A, B, E. Achha, no, 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 before that, before that, before that. Dekho, I was thinking we'll apply midpoint theorem since E is the midpoint of A, B, but I don't know that whether this E, Q is parallel to A, P or not. So first we need to prove that these two lines are parallel, then we can solve it further. Okay. So guys, what I can say, they go. since A, E, B, C, F, D, F all are equal to each other, I can say one thing, sir, in quadrilateral, in quadrilateral, A, E, C, F, first thing, A, E is equal to C, F. We have just proved A, E is equal to C, F. And also A, E will be parallel to C, F as well. Because A, B, C, D is a parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel. A, E is part of A, B. C, F is part of C, D. So they are parallel. One pair of opposite sides are equal as well as parallel. We can say A, E, C, F is a parallelogram. And if A, E, C, F is a parallelogram, we can say A, F is parallel to C. All right. So now I can say that these two lines are parallel. All right. Now I'll talk about the triangle APB. Now we'll talk about the triangle APB. So I can say, sir, in triangle APB, first thing we know E is midpoint of AB and now, since AF and CE are parallel, I can say QE will be parallel to AP, since AF is parallel to CE. All right. So, using converse of midpoint theorem, I can say using converse of midpoint theorem, we can say PQ is equal to QB. Half part done. Equation one. All right. Now, I'll go for the second equation. Second equation, ke liye beta, we'll look at this triangle, triangle D. Q, C. 
ट्राइंगल डी क्यू सी सो आई कैन से सर इन ट्राइंगल डी क्यू सी बेट ऑफ फर्स्ट थिंग वी नो एफ इज मिड पॉइंट ऑफ सी डी एंड ऑल्सो सिंस ए एफ एंड सी ई आर पैरल पी एफ एंड सी क्यू विल ऑल्सो भी पैरल पी एफ इज पैरल टू सी क्यू सो अगेन बाय कन्वर्स अगेन बाय कन्वर्स ऑफ मिड पॉइंट थियरम वी कैन से पी विल बी द मिड पॉइंट ऑफ डी क्यू सो वी गेट डी पी इज इक्वल टू पी क्यू ना फ्रॉम द इक्वेशन नंबर वन एंड इक्वेशन नंबर टू पी क्यू एंड क्यू बी आर इक्वल पी क्यू एंड डी पी आर इक्वल वी कैन से डी पी पी क्यू क्यू बी ऑल विल बी इक्वल एंड वी कैन से हैंस प्रूव्ड द डायगनल बी डी इज ट्राइसेक्टेड बाय ए एफ एंड सी ठीक है सिंपल लॉजिक टू टाइम्स यू हैव टू यूज कन्वर्स ऑफ मिड पॉइंट All right. Next one. Show that the line segments joining the midpoints of the opposite sides of a quadrilateral bisect each other. So, guys, important thing. Main thing they have told you that you have to draw a diagram in which a normal quadrilateral, neither parallelogram, neither rhombus, nothing like that is given. So, a simple quadrilateral, any quadrilateral, if you draw. All right. And the line segments joining the midpoints. Right. Find out the midpoints of all these sides. You have found. right midpoint of all these sides join them using line segments join all these midpoints using line segments right so from here to here from here to here from here to here let's say it is a b c d and let's say it is p q r s All right. So they are saying show that the line segments joining the midpoints of the opposite sides of a quadrilateral bisect each other. ठीक है? So we need to show that this P R and S Q will bisect each other. These two bisecting each other. Easier way to prove it will be if I prove P Q R S as a parallelogram. Easily I can say they will be bisecting each other. Right. So for that, beta, what I will do, I will draw a diagonal. Let's say diagonal A C. I will draw. Sorry. A diagonal A C. Now, in triangle A D C. In triangle A D C, if you will see, S is the midpoint of A D, R is the midpoint of C D. We can say using midpoint theorem. Using midpoint theorem, guys, I can say SR will be parallel to AC, same as our first question, and SR will be half of AC. Similarly, in triangle ABC, again using midpoint theorem, I can say PQ will be parallel to AC, and PQ is half of AC. Let's say this is your equation one. Let's say this is your equation two. We can clearly say from one and two. SR and PQ are parallel, and SR and PQ are equal also because both are equal to half of AC. So we can say PQRS is a parallelogram. One pair of opposite sides are equal and parallel. So definitely we can say diagonals bisect each other in a parallelogram. Diagonals bisect each other, and we can say that sir, G these two will be bisecting. Done. Simple logic, similar to the first question. Similar to the first question. Okay, now this is our main question. Question of the day. Okay, ABC is a triangle right angle at C. A line through the midpoint M of hypotenuse AB and parallel to BC intersect AC at D. Show that. So, देखो, we need to draw the diagram first. All right. So, diagram में देखते हैं बेटा. First, we have a right angle triangle right angle at C. This is C. All right. Uh, a line through the midpoint M, uh, midpoint M of hypotenuse AB and parallel to BC intersect AC at D. So let's say midpoint M over here for the hypotenuse. This parallel to BC. This is given parallel to BC. Intersect AC at D. Show that D is the midpoint of AC. So our first one directly we can say using converse. of midpoint theorem i can say d since m is the midpoint and md is parallel to bc we can say d is midpoint of ac ab dekho second part 
MD is perpendicular to AC. Since these two lines are parallel, guys, angle C is 90 degree corresponding angle. Angles ACB will be equal to angle ADM. Both will be equal to 90 degree because of corresponding angles. And that means MD is perpendicular to AC. Third one. CM and MA both are equal to half of AB. We need to join CM and AM and we need to prove it that both are equal to half of AB. So that, that means we need to prove that CM and AM are equal to each other. That is the logic we, we, we want to see over here. Take care. <clears throat> so for that guys, uh, what we can do over here, let us look at the angles. We can look at the angles or without angles also, if I have to do, we can use congruency. Congruency is there. See, this is also 90. I can say in triangle ADM and triangle CDM. First thing beta, AD is equal to CD. We have got D is midpoint of AC. Then angle ADM is equal to angle CDM. Both will be equal to 90 degree obviously. MD is perpendicular to AC. And at the end I can say MD is equal to MD. Common side. So by side angle side rule triangle ADM is congruent to triangle CDM and if they are congruent I can say AM is equal to CM and AM is nothing but M is the midpoint so half of AB simple right this is how we can solve this question okay bacha? so one step solution for all of it and a one step solution just look beyond what the question is giving and focus a lot in the diagrams Diagrams are very important. Diagrams gives you ideas when you are solving questions of geometry. Okay, Bicha. So with this, we have solved the uh, both the sessions. We have completed the topic quadrilateral. This is your homework question. Okay. They go. What they are saying? Show that the quadrilateral is a rectangle. So now think about how to prove any quadrilateral to be a rectangle. Look at all the uh, information given and accordingly process it out. How to prove any quadrilateral to be a rectangle? Okay, try to solve this question. I'll give you the solution in the next class. All right. And before I go ahead, guys, please remember link for registration to Vedantus Pro courses is mentioned in the uh, is mentioned in the description box of this video. GPE Pro is your code, guys, right now. And class nine subscription you can see very well just available after applying code at rupees two thousand two fifty and here after at rupees two thousand seven hundred. Okay, and full course, full uh, year long course will be available to you at this. And guys, when you apply GP Pro, your trial period is 30 days now. So you can try Vedantu courses for 30 days and you can see how it is going to be. And I'm pretty sure it is going to be amazing for you all. Okay, bacha. So link is in the description box. GP Pro is your code to get 10% off and also to get 30 days trial period. Okay. So thank you so much guys. Please don't forget to like this video before you leave. If you have enjoyed the session, share the video with your friends and subscribe to the channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for joining the session. I'll see you all in the next class. Till then, bye-bye. Sayonara, khudafis to all of you. Bye-bye.